Chapter 8, so Miss Breitenbach has decided on the roles. So Sane will play Jenny. Ricky will play Rona. Lean gets the role of Weird Maria. Christian plays David, Mr. Hunk. And Mimi plays the cleaner. Mimi also gets a tattoo of a little broom. And this reminds her to just stay in check. Otherwise, you know, she'll have to play a more submissive role as um, someone's wife. So Mimi is a very empowered woman. Um, a little broom is a biasimpi. So other roles will be played by Elma, John, Vian, Soros, and Arman. The rest of the learners will be responsible for like decor, lights, marketing, tickets, consumes, and uh, costumes and all that. So yeah, this is uh, a huge project that they're undertaking. So Voter and his sister Yvette, Yvette are going to visit their father and stepmother. And they stay in Bloom with whom they get along well with. And Lynn does not answer when Voter asks if she misses her dad. Brahm uncomfortably allows Donovan to cut his hair. This is a very funny scene in the movie. Now, I know, guys, the movie is not an accurate representation of the book, but it just helps to set the atmosphere, the tone, so you can understand the scenes a bit better. It just adds a bit more to your overall understanding of the novel. So, Lynn helps Brahm by asking the hairdressers, to sponsor his cricket team and explains the concept to Donovan and Durki. Brahm increases the sponsorship money to 3k. Wow, it's quite a bit of money. Lean offers together with Brahm to teach them about cricket. So this is very cute. So Lean explains the concept of sponsorship firstly, like, hey, look, you can slap your logo on one of their t-shirts, pay 3,000 rands, yes, but you get free advertising because they're going to be playing schools from a similar area and maybe you guys can get a bit more business to your hair salon. And uh, yeah, Turkey and Donovan, they've got absolutely no clue how cricket works. So Lynn and Brown will teach them. And uh, Brown's hairstyle looks pretty cool. 